Ready for me to unmute us? Yeah. All right, ladies and gents, we are about to start the second contest of the evening featuring the Varsity Men, hometown Sherrall Wolverines taking on the visiting Kim Branson Mustangs. We had some technical difficulties in that first game. Our internet connection was really not what we wanted it to be and didn't find out until a little bit later. We had some interesting colorful choice comments and messages sent our way. Folks, we are genuinely trying our best to bring what, you, what we can to you. If it doesn't totally work and if you're not enjoying the broadcast, you can always turn it off. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> All right, starting lineups. Cameron Rosas, junior, uh, freshman number one. Junior, Coulter Cranson. Freshman, David Gomez. Senior, number 21, Brock Doherty. And number 30, sharpshooter, freshman, Trotter Watkins. Now for the hometown, Sherrall Wolverines. Number three, Juden. Junior Braden Stoker. Tim Provost, number 33, a junior. Senior, number five, Trenton Raider. Number 20, senior BJ Marquez. And big number 21, senior Seth Reese. This could be a very interesting matchup, folks, according to what we see on Max Preps. Both these teams have beaten similar teams by similar margins and lost to the same teams by similar margins as well. Cranson and Reef. There comes Watkins, guarded up high. Gomez looking to go to work. His pass to Watkins picked off, but it ends up out of bounds. That will be Mustang ball. We are recording this broadcast, and if we have technical difficulties, we will post it live later tonight on our YouTube channel. So you might have to be a little patient with this one, folks. Brock Doherty is able to go to work, blocked by the long arms of Seth Reese. Gonna have to get his man up in the air before shooting over that tall fella. This is number three, Stoker. Reese, he's gonna pull the trigger. Nothing but net for the big man. First score of the night. Watkins with it now, top of the key. Three freshmen, a senior and a junior for this Kim squad going up against several, I think four seniors and a junior. A little more floor time and experience. Colter Cranston's first shot, way loose. He's able to tip it free, come, chases it down and gets it. Gomez, he's gonna try a three from the corner. It falls a little bit long. Number five, Raider coming up with it. David Gomez with a leaping steal. Cameron Rosas coming down the left side of the court. Three ball in motion by number three, Braden Stoker. Quick six nothing lead by the hometown Shaw Wolverines. Steal, layup, number five, Raider misses. Put back no good, Trotter Watkins with the rebound. Gomez dishes to Cranson, misses on the six foot jumper. 
Mustangs yet to score six to nothing. Just done about three minutes into this first contest. Number 33, strong play by Provost. Not quite able to convert. Gomez, difficult off balance shot. Maybe not what the Mustangs want to get going. Foul on the floor, and they're going to, Coulter Cranson, going to pick up his first. Substitution, Owen Doherty checking in for Coulter Cranson. Owen, one of the two seniors on this squad. Brock Doherty with the board. He finds a streaking Owen Doherty. Owen's attempt just short. Brock motoring for the rebound. Gomez, three ball, no good. Wolverines moving the ball well. They get it into Provost. Kicking it out to Reese. Already connected from downtown. Woo, two for two for the big fella. He's got a quick six, six of the nine Wolverine points. Mustangs yet to find the rim. Well, I guess they found the rim. They just haven't <laughs> found the inside of the rim. Brock Doherty, step back jumper, no good. Owen Doherty has the rebound. Kicks it back out. Gama is going to try a three. Doherty and Doherty trying to rebound in among the trees. They need a little rebounding help from the rest of their Mustangs. That attempt, no good. Still scoreless are the Kim Branson Mustangs looking to change that on this possession. Brock Doherty, air ball from the right side. <laughs> little Mustang on Mustang collision there. Bodies on the floor. <laughs> they even got the rebound while he was sitting down trying to draw the charge. Again, usually when those are 50-50 calls where there was contact but feet still moving, there is a no call. Oh, they're calling Brock Doherty on a travel. Mustang's looking to get something going here. Coulter Cranson checking in for Brock Doherty now. This is Raider with the ball, trapped in the corner. Finds Provost. Stoker with it now. Kicking it over to the corner. Blocked by the long arms of Cranson. David Gomez may be trying to do a little too much by himself here. Mustang's got to figure something out offensively or this is going to end up like the last one. That foul by Rosas is going to send number 33, Tim Provost, to the line. Provost connects. On his first. 2.20 to go here. Brock Doherty checking back in for Owen. Provost, two for two from the line. 11 nothing lead. Brock Doherty, finally the Mustangs on the board. Senior Brock Doherty looking to get something started. Nice defense by the Mustangs. Rosas with the steal. Dangerous pass, Gomez coming up short again.
come the Mustangs. Brock with the pass over to Coulter Cranson. Brock and Coulter trying to get rolling for their Mustangs. Nice steal, but picked up. Oh, a little too much on that one. Will Doherty checking in for the first time. David Gomez taking a little breather. Minute seven left here in the first quarter. 11 to four, hometown Wolverines in charge. Mustangs kind of broke through that glass ceiling. Three ball, I think partially deflected. Usually Charter Watkins doesn't shoot him that far off from the mark. Woo, what a take. Doesn't quite fall for number 20. Got to learn these names here. That was B.J. Marquez with a nice look and drive. Another couple of players in number one, Talon White in the game, as is number 34, Joshua Snyder for the Wolverines. Cranson finds a cutting Doherty, doesn't fall. Rebound White. This is Stoker with it now, guarded by Will Doherty. Marquez with the ball on the right side. Back out to Stoker. To Marquez, he's got a shot. Pulls the trigger way long. And they're gonna call a jump ball on that. That was, I believe, Cameron Rosas in the right place at the right time. Talon White shot, getting blocked. Marquez with it now. Oh, easy. Easy bucket for big number 33, Tim Provost. He's got four. Will Doherty able to convert. As time expires, give the sophomore some credit. We're going to take a time out of our own. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family-owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house, which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. 13 to six is your score as we're getting ready to start second quarter here. Tim Provost leading all scorers with four. Actually, I take that back. Seth Reese has six and Stoker has one. On the Mustang side of the ball, Will Doherty, Colter Cranston and Brock Doherty each with a field goal at this point. Here come the Mustangs. Rosas over to Brock Doherty. Brock drives baseline, tries to find what he thought would be a cutting Coulter Cranston, staying with it. Comes up in the hands of B.J. Marquez. He tries the Euro step and ended up somewhere else in France. He traveled a little bit through Europe in that Euro step. Here comes Cameron Rosas. Down by seven. No, I'm sorry. Colter Cranson, sticking with it, almost gets him. Mustangs in that half court set where they like to try to trap in the upper corners. <laughs> Cameron Rosas, uh, Getting told by one of the refs that he needs to tuck a shirt in. <laughs> the fashion police are out. Marquez with it now, deep right corner, driving on Doherty. Picks it back, tries to get it into Provost. Will Doherty finds a cutting Cranson. Cranson with an opportunity. 
And he does. Cranson warming up. He's got four. Marquez works through traffic. Stolen by Cranson there. Mustangs now down by five. Rosas with the ball. Trotter Watkins back to Rosas. He's going to try to drive. And he will head to the line. Fouled in the attempt of shooting. Tim Provost picking up his first team foul there. First foul of the game by the Wolverines. Rosas connects on his first attempt. Lead now four. Checking back in, number 21, Seth Reese. He's got two three-pointers in this game. Rosas second, no good. That was Snyder with the board. Here comes Reese to Marquez. Back to Snyder. Marquez now going to work. Finds an open Reese. Mustangs quick to not want him to get an open look. There's a three ball attempt just a tad long by Snyder. Trying to chase it down, that'll be Mustang ball. Point guard Cameron Rosas bringing it down over to Doherty on the left wing. He's going to drive into the paint. Tries to get it to his brother. Pass stolen by the Wolverines. Here they come. Marquez down the right side. Finds a cutting Reese. Ooh. Snyder. Nice look. Not able to convert. Gomez. Lucky on that behind in the back. Fancy stuff. There's been a fair number of turnovers this year on those little behind the back jobbers. Rosas, big three, no good. Coulter Cranson skying for the board. He finds a fairly wide open Brock Doherty and he's able to convert. The lead is now two. A little bit of momentum this time in favor of the Mustangs. And a little bit of travel by number three. Bra Braden Stoker. 30 second timeout taken by head coach Colin Leak. We'll take a timeout of our own. You live your life on your phone, so why not use your phone to finance your home? Introducing iLend, express mortgage from the First National Bank in Trinidad. iLend makes it easy to apply for a mortgage online. You can be pre-approved in as little as eight minutes by simply filling out the fields on your phone, tablet, or computer. It's that easy and that fast. iLend from the First National Bank in Trinidad, equal housing lender and member FDIC. Visit fnbtrinidad.com to apply today. Coming out of that timeout, it will be Mustang ball on the far sideline right at midcourt. Junior Gomez, number 11, a senior for the Mustangs, checking in for the first time. Brock Doherty taking a little breather. Gomez, left-hand drive is good, and we are tied at 13. And they are going to say number 33 was out. Here comes Trotter Watkins. There he will say last touched by the Mustangs. That'll be Wolverine ball. Mustangs getting maybe a little too fancy and in that dangerous corner where you got two sidelines to deal with. Good ball movement by <laughs> the hometown Shaw Wolverines. Tim Provost getting his team back up to a two point lead. Nice open bucket, good ball movement there. Trotter Watkins over to Junior Gomez.
Colter Cranson, couple dribbles, picks it up, working it back around. Good defense by Provost. Excellent use of his body, using his length to get a nice clean block on Gomez. Will Doherty to inbounds. Telegraph that pass, tied up. Possession belongs to the hometown Wolverines. Currently up by two, 15 to 13. Brock Doherty checking in for Coulter Cranson. Brock, no doubt, going to get the unenviable task of trying to guard Big Tim Provost. They tried to go to him again. Just out of bound, just out of reach was that inlet pass. I like the thought. Wolverines looking to attack without the big man Coulter Cranson in. Going to try to feed it to Provost. Gomez, again, maybe a little too much on that take. Nice steal. Oh, but loose ball picked up by Provost. Marquez with it now here on the right side. Doherty almost with the steal. Marquez driving baseline, kicks it out to big number 21, Reese. But guess who's there to clean it up? Provost. He's got eight. And the Shira lead is now four with just about three minutes to go here in the first half. Junior Gomez now tries to drive left, doesn't make it happen. Reese ended up, and they're going to say last touch by Reese. A couple of substitutions, Cameron Rosas coming in for Will Doherty. Number five, Trenton Raider checking in the ball game as well for Shura. Rosas inbounds pass to Trotter, dangerous. They need to take a little bit of time. And they're gonna call Trotter on the foul that time. Loose ball foul. The other guy had more of a clear path to it. <laughs> Trotter kinda crashed into him and yeah, that happens. His first foul of the game. Each team only with one foul here in this second quarter. Ref's not calling a lot, just letting them play. Raider. Back over, deep three ball. Woo, that was number 15, William Ledbetter from about three steps behind the arc. I love watching good shooting, that's fun. Brock Doherty diving on the floor, gotta be careful on that. Oh, Ledbetter, he says, hey, I just scored, I wanna try again. Last touched by Brock Doherty underneath. That will be Shura ball. Coulter Cranson checking in now for Junior Gomez. Two minutes to go. The Wolverine lead back up to seven. We were tied at 13. Wolverines on a seven to nothing run at the moment. Ledbetter tried it again. Why not? There's number three. Ooh, Braden Stoker. That's his second three ball of the night. The Wolverines have hit five of those here so far in the contest. It's a nice way to score points. There, they're gonna get Trenton Raider on a reaching foul. Mustangs will have the ball on the far sideline. Trenton's first foul of the game. Colter Cranson going to work, guarded by Reese. Reese with the block. Colter Cranson was able to get him to step back. A second pump fake may have worked in that situation. Rosas into Trotter Watkins. David, one foot floater, no good. Nice defensive stand by Shara right there. Brock Doherty almost with it. Rosas ends up with the loose ball. He's going to push. He kind of has a lane. Coulter Cranson with it. And we got bodies on the floor. And they are calling that a jump ball. Possession this time belongs to the Mustangs. 
Rosas to inbounds. Colton Cranston shot way short. Rosas going to work, decides to pull it back out. Just under a minute to play here in the second quarter. Mustangs would love to get this lead to under 10, going into half. Dangerous pass by Doherty. Rosas, he's got a baseline drive. Elects to kick it out to Cranson. And that's Big Tim Provost with the board. Got to hand it to the Shira team, just playing with a lot of composure, really moving the ball well here on their home court. Reese with it now. More good ball movement by the Wolverines. Leads to a foul by Cam Monrosis. That will be his second personal foul. Each team now with two fouls in the quarter with 16 seconds left. I don't think we're going to get to the shooting bonus. Provost missing on this one. He's hit two of those so far. By my unofficial count, Rosas has eight points. Owen Doherty checking into the game. 16.9 seconds left here in the half. Provost, it's his third made free throw. He's three out of four from the line tonight. Rosas going to work. And he hits a little floater. About six seconds to go. Comes up with a steal. Two seconds. He's going to pull the J. A little short. Brings us to the end of the first half of play. The hometown Wolverines up by nine, 24 to 15 here on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. Wright Tires is your one-stop shop for fuel and tires in Kim, Colorado. Located on Highway 160, Wright Tires has diesel and unleaded fuel available 24 hours a day. If you need a quick tire fix or a set of new tires, they'll get you what you need. Family owned and operated, they know that when our school and community thrives, we all thrive. Wright Tires is proud to support the Kim Branson Mustangs and this student broadcast. Folks want to tell you about one of our sponsors, one of our newest sponsors, Old Shade Customs in Walsh, Colorado. They specialize in uh, engraving and gunsmithing for your firearm. So you can buy a brand new firearm, take one you currently own into the shop there at Old Shade Customs, and they can add some custom engraving in nickel, gold, uh, rose gold, or copper. One of only 200 shops in the world that can do this kind of work. So you can take in something that you've had for years, maybe a special family hand-me-down, and make it even more special and unique. Or you can have that done to a brand new firearm. They also repair guns. If there is a, if you have an older gun that maybe is out of, uh, it's been decommissioned and a broken part, they can manufacture that broke that part for you and get your firearm up and running just like new. You can find them on Facebook. Just search Old Shade Customs. And they are located right there in Walsh, Colorado. Another new sponsor from the Walsh community is the Walsh Community Grocery Store. Just like their slogan says, to pulling together, we all win. They have been a community-owned and, <laughs> owned and operated grocery store since 2007. And they've been a real anchor there in the Walsh community, not only supporting student-powered broadcasting, but lots of student and community activities and events in the Walsh community. So thank you to our new sponsors from Walsh, Walsh Community Grocery and Old Shade Customs. We really appreciate your sponsorship. We know life takes you many places, and Branson School Online is here to ensure you receive a quality education wherever you are. Families work with experienced, Colorado-licensed teachers in small class sizes. And with flexible schedules and customized learning plans, there's no reason not to join Branson School Online today. Visit our website and press the Apply Now button to begin the quick and easy process. For more information, please visit BransonSchoolOnline.com or call toll-free at 888-863-7850. Saddle Rock Sports Network is a student-powered broadcasting company that was started this fall. Over the last two months, our student-produced broadcast have gotten over 20,000 views. Over 20,000 views. Over 20,000 views. Over 20,000 views. In January and February, we will be broadcasting 41 games for the high school and junior high Kim Branson Mustang basketball teams. With that being said, would you like to put your ad in one of our live videos? Your ad will also be permanently on the game videos, which live on YouTube forever. 
forever. For forever. And will be seen over and over again as the game is shared with fans and rewatched by players, coaches, and families. We have ad packages based on sponsoring all the games in a given week, or sponsoring a specific team or teams. Weekly ad packages start at one week between 8 and 12 games for $200 and go up to all 41 games for $800. Team-based sponsorships are similarly priced. Each package includes your logo on screen during gameplay and a commercial that gets aired during timeouts and half times of your sponsored games. Another way Saddle Rock Sports Network is helping schools is that they give 20% of ad revenue back to a school group of your choice. Whether that be, for example, the senior class, junior class, FFA, theater, whatever you want. To reserve your sponsorship, click on the link to the order form in this post, or you can visit SaddleRockSolutions.com. 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 SaddleRockSolutions.com for more information. All right, folks, I want to draw your attention to some of our upcoming games here on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. You can see right on your screen this week and next week, we have a lot of basketball coming your way. Obviously, right here Tuesday night, we're here in Chira on Thursday. Swallows Charter Academy heads to Honey for varsity action. Then on Friday, we have a doubleheader. Walsh is headed to Kim, and Del Nort is headed to Honey. We'll have all of that high school action for you there Friday night on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. Then Saturday, the 27th, Kim is going to Eads for a junior high and high school quadruple header. That should be fun. The following week, starting on Monday, we have round two of the junior high league tournament featuring the Kim Branson, Walsh, Springfield, and South Baca teams. Four games on the for you that night, starting at three o'clock going into the evening. Then on Wednesday, the Kim Branson ladies head to Primero. On Thursday, another one of those double headers. Hanover is coming to Kim, and LaVita is headed to Honey. All of that high school action on Thursday, February 1st. And then on, I might have something wrong there. It says Friday, February 3rd. Anyway, it's either Friday or Saturday. <laughs> Centennial and Kim are meeting in Trinidad for a high school action there. We're going to have all of that for you here on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. If you want to be a sponsor, one of the ways you could help us out is by being a super fan. You'll see the names of those folks there online. They're just wanting to help us financially uh, keep this mission going. Our mission here is actually to equip students to produce entertaining and profitable sports broadcasts. And all these students are paid for their time. So Tate Baker, and now we have Daniela Gonzalez joining us on what we call the slash cam. That's the view that you see zoomed in a little closer, trying to get more player reactions, not our way zoomed out camera. You can go to that website right there, SaddleRockSolutions.com slash fans, or you can scan that QR code. It'll take you to the same spot, and you can learn how to help us out financially if you don't really want to necessarily promote your business. If you do want to promote your business, you can head over, over to SaddleRockSolutions.com slash sponsors and learn all about the various sponsorship packages we have available. Now, in the video you just watched featuring some of our uh, student broadcasters, it had a certain level of prices. Actually, our prices have gone down from what we listed when we made that last commercial. Basically, our weekly advertising package starts at $150 a week, and then as you purchase additional weeks, if you bundle them up, you're going to save more. And it's just a whole lot of fun. We really appreciate everybody doing this, uh, supporting us in every way, shape, or form. Another way that you can support us is you can Subscribe to us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's the button that says socials there in the upper right-hand corner. A little reminder there. You could subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on your notifications. And what that does, if you have notifications turned on in the YouTube app on your phone, you'll get a nice little gentle reminder whenever one of our videos goes live. And don't worry, your phone's not going to blow up. <laughs> it only will notify you for the YouTube channels you're subscribed to that you also turn notifications on for. Another way to help us out is to follow us and like us on Facebook. And when you see our posts on social media, go ahead and share those to your socials if you would as well and share them with friends, family. We try to put direct links to those YouTube games in those posts to keep it nice and easy for you. And that helps us get the word out and helps our channel grow. We just recently surpassed 800 subscribers on the channel which was a fun benchmark. We just passed that uh, actually last night as we were broadcasting the Walsh Junior High Basketball Tournament. It was a whole lot of fun. All right, we're going to take a couple minutes here before we head back to the action to hear from a few more of our corporate sponsors.
Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. Away from obstruction. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house, which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. Cook Oil is your one-stop shop for everything you need on the farm or ranch. We provide auto and ag parts and a full line of feed and livestock supplements. And we can handle your bulk fuel and propane delivery needs. Don't forget, Cook Oil is also your only source for Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides east of I-25 and south of I-70. Stop in and see us at 105 West Santa Fe in Walsh or give us a call at 719-324-5273. Thanks, and good luck to the athletes competing in today's games. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are about to start the second half of action. Based on the possession arrow, it will be Shira Ball on the far sideline. We are sitting at 24 to 15, Shira currently up by nine. We were tied at 13 and then Shira went on a seven nothing run to extend that lead before Kim was able to answer. Kind of bring this to where we are right now. Good ball movement by the Wolverines. Good defense there by the Mustangs. Here comes Cameron Rosas and the Mustangs gets it up to David. David not able to net connect on that left side drive. Here comes Marquez, guarded by Rosas who has two fouls, gotta be a little careful here. Seth Reese, just short on that three ball attempt. He already has two tonight. He's talking to the young man here working the Shira recorder. He said he hit a nearly full court shot. Long two pointer by Brock Doherty. The lead is now seven. 24 to 17, just a minute gone by here in the third. Reese not able to connect, Coulter Cranson comes down with it. Just under seven to play here in the third quarter. Marquez bringing the ball up. Into Reese. Got a hand up on it. Looks like we have an offensive call, offensive foul. Or maybe just a three second violation. I take that back. I thought it was gonna be on Provost, but much rather see a three second call so fouls don't get accumulated. I like to watch both teams play fully equipped and fully manned up. Gomez connects with a three ball, his first points of the contest. The lead is now four. Here's Marquez again. Reese has it now, tries to get it into Provost. Gomez able to stretch and poke it away. Rosas, he's gonna take it in. Left hand, scoopity loopity doop, not there. Coulter Cranson staying with it. Reese gets a hand on it, but is, after he makes the block, he kind of comes down and fouls Coulter. That will send Coulter to the line. Seth Reese, it's only his first foul. First foul by either team here in quarter number three. Just under six minutes to go. Coulter does, misses his first. Yeah. 
Connects on his second. Cranson has five. Here come the Wolverines. That was Stoker over there. Back to him, they kick it over to Marquez, trying to find Provost. A little too high on that pass. Here comes Cranson. He's got a trailer, he sticks with it. Rosas with the board and gets it to fall. Oh, they're gonna call David Gomez with a reach there. First team foul for the Mustangs. That's Gomez's first. Marquez to inbounds. Ledbetter checked into the game. Back over to Stoker. He's gonna try the three. Comes up short. Who's there? Provost and Brock Doherty gets an arm on it. Provost gonna go to the line. One point game. That's Brock's first foul. Mr. Provost missed his first. First one falls short as well. Full timeout called by Mustang coach Jesse Gomez. We'll take a timeout of our own. Wright Tires is your one-stop shop for fuel and tires in Kim, Colorado. Located on Highway 160, Wright Tires has diesel and unleaded fuel available 24 hours a day. If you need a quick tire fix or a set of new tires, they'll get you what you need. Family owned and operated, they know that when our school and community thrives, we all thrive. Wright Tires is proud to support the Kim Branson Mustangs and this student broadcast. Wallace Oil Company has been serving Southeast Colorado with quality fuels and lubricants since 1962 delivering diesel, gasoline, and propane to residential and commercial farms and ranches. You can also visit Wallace Oil Automotive Repair in Lahana for all your vehicle needs. Wallace Oil is proud to support Kim and Branson Athletics and Student Powered Broadcasting. Go Mustangs and go with Wallace Oil Company. They deliver. Trotter Watkins coming down the court. Brock Doherty finds a cutting. Gomez not able to handle the pass. Seth Reese going to play point guard on this position. Finds Stoker back to Reese. Short on that jumper. Brock Doherty with the rebound. He's going to put his head down. Loses his dribble. That'll be Wolverine ball. Junior Gomez checking in for David Gomez. Big brother for little brother. That's Marquez. Finds Stoker on the far side. Reese with it out to Marquez. Corner three off the mark. Provost last touched it. That'll be Mustang ball. 4.24 to go, one point game. Hometown Wolverines up by one, 24 to 23, here in the third quarter. Cameron Rosas with it now. Sharon, a man-to-man -man defense. Trotter Watkins, dangerous pass. He's got time, pulls the trigger, no good. Trotter shooting about 40% from the three-point range this season. Leading the Mustangs in three-pointers. Provost, nice big man play by the junior. He's got 11 points in the contest. Junior Gomez tries to get it to Brock Doherty. Bad pass, it's off his foot. And that will be Shira Wolverine ball. Those fast-paced passes in traffic. Kind of a gamble. Do you finish at the rim? Do you try to dish it through traffic? Here we go. Stoker back to Marquez. Stoker, he's ooh, thought about it. He's going to go baseline instead. Gets it into Reese. 
Reese with the putback, no good. Provost with the board. He'll clean it up. He's got 13, leading all scorers in this contest. Rosas, left-handed drive, not there. The lead for Shira back up to five with three minutes left in the third. Stoker finds Provost. Provost misses his mark that time. Junior Gomez is going to turn on the Jets, but he's going to back it up. Marquez with a swiping reach. He didn't really have position that time to go for that steal. You can tell he's quick, and he's probably gotten away with that a time or two. But he just didn't have possession that time. Picks up his first foul. Each team with two fouls in this third quarter of play. Owen Doherty now in the game for the Mustangs. Oh, number 15, Ledbetter got a hand on it from behind for the block. Head coach Colin Leak calls a uh, full timeout. Cook Oil is your one-stop shop for everything you need on the farm or ranch. We provide auto and ag parts and a full line of feed and livestock supplements. And we can handle your bulk fuel and propane delivery needs. Don't forget, Cook Oil is also your only source for Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides east of I-25 and south of I-70. Stop in and see us at 105 West Santa Fe in Walsh or give us a call at 719-324-5273. Thanks and good luck to the athletes competing in today's games. You live your life on your phone, so why not use your phone to finance your home? Introducing iLend, express mortgage from the First National Bank in Trinidad. iLend makes it easy to apply for a mortgage online. You can be pre-approved in as little as eight minutes by simply filling out the fields on your phone, tablet, or computer. It's that easy and that fast. iLend from the First National Bank in Trinidad, equal housing lender and member FDIC. Visit fnbtrinidad.com to apply today court underneath the basket interesting place to spot it because he was not underneath his basket when they called the timeout I don't know I don't know how that works 100% Marquez deep ball to Reese he's gonna pull the trigger on three just off the mark skip pass deflected by Watkins those remains Wolverine ball up by 5 28 23 225 to go here in the third Marquez is going to inbounds. Gets it up to Stoker, back to Marquez. Shiraw being nice and patient, getting what they want. Ledbetter long three just off the mark. They are going to get Reese with a little bit of reach, a little body on that. We talked about that earlier in the girls' game and what we call it over the back. Oh, yep, they are. Calling a foul on Seth Reese, his second. That was the team's third foul. You do have a right to go for the ball, but you cannot touch the body of the guy in front of you as you're going for that ball. That's where the foul is. It's not really on the reach. Brock Doherty, long two. Brock's got eight. Lead down to three. Cameron Rosas with the steal. Got to be careful. He finds Brock. Ultimately finds Owen Doherty. Owen took an extra step. Oh, heartbreak hotel. Here come the Wolverines up by three. Minute and a half to go here in the third. Good defensive stance. Oh, my goodness. Ledbetter cuts in, misses. Owen Doherty chases it down. Here comes Cameron and the Mustangs. Brock Doherty with it. Kicks it out to Coulter. He's going to drive in the middle of the paint. Nice jumper from a step inside the free throw line. Nice drive by Reese. Lead back up to three. Under a minute to play here in the third. Nope, they're going to say Charter Watkins was out of bounds when he caught that one. 
43.4 seconds. Substitution, David Gomez coming in for Owen Doherty. A little shoelace timeout by Brock Doherty there. Here comes B.J. Marquez. That's Stoker. Mustangs trying to trap him in the corner. Coulter Cranson comes up with the deflected ball. Rosas gets to his spot, knocks it down, brings us to within one. Here comes Marquez, 16 seconds. Guarded in that corner, in trouble. Stoker has it. Oh, they're going to get Kranz and a little body on it. He knew it. Hey, that's not a bad foul. You're going for it. Nine seconds to go. Marquez with the ball. They're going to find Stoker. Look for him to pull the trigger. He does. No good. Rosas with it. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. One point ball game here in Shura, Colorado. The home team up by one. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house, which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. So yeah, let's kind of think about it. There's gotta be a way to do it. Folks, you got a little behind uh, inside baseball there. Tate Baker and myself trying to figure out some more things to add to our next broadcast if possible. Always looking to improve and bring you a better product and also challenge ourselves in the process. Here comes Trotter Watkins. He finds Cameron Rosas. Little turnaround, Mustangs get their first lead of the game. Marquez, good ball movement. Provost not able to hold on to it, and that's gonna be Mustang ball. With that little basket, Rosas has nine. Oh, looks like we have a contact lens from Cameron Rosas that is not where it needs to be. <laughs> Now I've seen glasses timeouts, I've seen shoelace timeouts, but I have never seen a contact lens timeout. First time for everything. 30 second timeout. Wallace Oil Company has been serving Southeast Colorado with quality fuels and lubricants since 1962, delivering diesel, gasoline, and propane to residential and commercial farms and ranches. You can also visit Wallace Oil Automotive Repair in La Hunna for all your vehicle needs. Wallace Oil is proud to support Kim and Branson Athletics and Student Powered Broadcasting. Go Mustangs and go with Wallace Oil Company. They deliver. Mustangs with their first lead of the game at 31 to 30. Have the ball with seven and a half to go here in this tight contest. Brock Doherty plays, gets it up through the contact. He's got 10. Good ball movement by the Wolverines. Kicking it back out to 34, gotta learn his name. Marquez with it now. He goes in, nice little move, not quite there. Cranson ends up with the board. He's got a full head of steam, leads Brock. Brock makes the attempt, no good, but... Oh, they're calling it on the floor. Interesting, all right, well, they did call it on the floor. That was B.J. Marquez with the foul. 
his second. Colter Cranston has it. He's going to dish it out to Brock. That's from Steph Curry range. Way too far. Cranston ends up with the board. Rosas kicks it out to Watkins. Watkins says, hey, I like a three ball myself. Let me serve one up to you. It's his first bucket of the night. Mustangs now up by six. Stoker, Reese has it. Oh, they're going to call that one on Kranz, and that one could have gone either way. There was a little bit of a push, but the feet were definitely moving. I believe that could be Cranston's third. Yes, it is, according to the scorebook, scoreboard up there. He's got to be careful. A lot of basketball to go, six and a half. Six-point Mustang lead. Marquez inbounds to Ledbetter, back to Provost. Stoker with it way out there. <laughs> Rosas almost ran into, oh wow. I think Gomez got away with a pretty good foul there. Here comes Rosas, guarded by Marquez. Back over to Watkins. Watkins is gonna drive, doesn't get it to fall. He careens back into the padded wall. And they're gonna get Brock Doherty with the foul, but it was on the floor, it will not be a shooting foul. Brock just picked up his second. Marquez to inbounds. Out to Ledbetter. Stoker's got it on the right side. Back to Ledbetter. Marquez, one dribble, three-pointer. Provost almost gets it. Brock Doherty ends up with it. Here comes Cameron Rosas and the Mustangs. Guarded well by Marquez, I like his defense. Watkins has it now. He's gonna drive, dishes back to Coulter Cranson. Back to Rosas. He's not afraid to go in. He's gonna get a foul drawn. And the drawer of that foul, Seth Reese. That's foul number three. Both teams now with a one player apiece in with three fouls, Reese for the Wolverines and Cranston on the Mustang side of the ball, each with three. Rosas connects on attempt number one. Checking into the game now, here is Talon White. Seth Reese just picking up his third, having to take a little breather. Rosas, it's off. Tim Provost chases it down in the corner. B.J. Marquez bringing it up the near side. And he proceeds to pass it to uh, the girl sitting on the stage over there. I think he thought his uh, intended target was going to cut back and didn't quite happen. Cameron Rosas. Brock with a nice inlet pass to Coulter Cranston. Turn around, Jay, no good. No rebounders underneath for the Mustangs. Here's Marquez, guarded by Watkins. White gets it back to Marquez. Coulter Cranston going for it, picks up costly foul number four. He's going to have to sit the bench. That's four. <laughs> Coulter Cranston still in the game with four fouls. A lot of time, Coach Gomez confident in his big man to play smart. Tim Provost gets it. Oh, goodness. Are they calling a foul that time? That was a, no, that one they did not. They called that foul on Cranston, but they didn't call that foul on the Wolverine that careened into Brock. Hey, it is what it is. Seven point Mustang lead. Four and a half to go here in the game. Brock up top. Oh, he tried to find Owen Doherty. Cranston now out of the game. Marquez with it. Stoker stepping out of bounds with that left foot. Right in front of the ref. Tough, tough turnover. Here it comes. Mustangs again, just a 4.15 to go. Seven point Mustang lead here in the fourth. 
Gomez has it now. Sloppy pass, easy pick. Talon, no, I'm sorry, Braden Stoker said, yeah, I'll do that, that's easy. <laughs> He's got eight points, two threes and that little two right there. Brock Doherty guarded by Provost up high. Provost quick for a big man. Brock tries to go around, tries to get it to Owen again. Owen needs to cut to the ball, another Mustang turnover. That's an offensive foul, Cameron Rosas taking it like a man. That is Braden Stoker who picks that one up. Only his first foul of the contest. Each team with three personal fouls. Remember we get to five, it's automatic two free throws. That could be critical in this last three and a half minutes of play. Both teams wanting this five point lead for the visiting Mustangs. Owen Doherty with it, gets it back to Rosas. Rosas now guarded by Provost up high. He wants to take him off the dribble. Big, little versus big. They decide to wait for something else. Trotter Watkins now guarded by Ledbetter. Oh, almost loses his dribble. He's in trouble, picked it up, and he gave it away. Sloppy pass by the freshman. Braden Stoker says, hey, I'll do that. What was a seven point lead after a four nothing run is a three point lead. The Wolverines clawing back in. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one stop shop that does it all in house which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. Yes. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. Several crucial turnovers by the Mustangs fueling a four to nothing Wolverine run here. Just under three to play. Visiting Mustangs up 37-34 with just under three minutes left in the contest. Cameron Rosas with the ball. Oh. <laughs> I was so focused in watching the game, I forgot to move the camera. Sorry about that, folks. Won't happen again, at least not in this game. I hope David Gomez with it now, up at the top. Quick handoff to Trotter Watkins. Oh, oh, bummer, bummer. Ledbetter twisted an ankle on that one. Comes up hobbling. Coulter Cranson is gonna check into the game. Good job by Ledbetter to get back. Snyder coming to check, coming in for him. Two and a half to go. Cranson with it now, top of the key. On the left side now is at the top of the key. Got it by Provost. Mustangs waiting for something. Provost, nice defense, denying the lane to Brock. Rosas has it now. He's gonna drive, nope, no he's not. <laughs> Good effort by Rosas to keep it alive, but that's another Mustang turnover with a three ball. The Wolverines could tie this one up. Coach Leak calling a 30 second timeout with a minute 46 to go. We know life takes you many places, and Branson School Online is here to ensure you receive a quality education wherever you are. Families work with experienced, Colorado-licensed teachers in small class sizes, and with flexible schedules and customized learning plans, there's no reason not to join Branson School Online today. Visit our website and press the Apply Now button to begin the quick and easy process. For more information, please visit BransonSchoolOnline.com or call toll-free at 888-863-7850.
That will be Mustang, I'm sorry, Wolverine ball. They get it into Reese, trying to get to Provost. Brock Doherty with the steal that time. That time, Shiraw with the turnover. Minute and a half to go, three point lead. Rosas driving out. Brock had time, he elects not to give it a go. Turns it over, another turnover by the Mustangs. I don't know what the call was there. Foul by somebody. <laughs> by Brock, okay. Well, Brock just picked up his third. He's got three, Cranston has four. Reese on the other side of the ball has three. Reese has it, little give and go. That's Marquez, pulls the trigger, and he ties it with just over a minute at 37. Both teams with no fouls to give. If there is a foul, it's gonna send the other team to the line. Watkins has it, thought about it. Alex to get it back to Rosas. Gomez with the ball. The team that has, is confident, we might win this one. Brock Doherty, huge rebound. Gomez with the shot, it's off. Brock Doherty chases it down, he finds Cranston, and it's good! Oh my goodness, two point game, but the three point shooting of Shaw could make something happen. 39, 37, we're gonna keep it right here on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. Oh my goodness, folks, I can feel my, that's a full timeout. Actually, let's hear from us, one of our sponsors. Wallace Oil Company has been serving Southeast Colorado with quality fuels and lubricants since 1962, delivering diesel, gasoline, and propane to residential and commercial farms and ranches. You can also visit Wallace Oil Automotive Repair in Lahana for all your vehicle needs. Wallace Oil is proud to support Kim and Branson Athletics and Student Powered Broadcasting. Go Mustangs and go with Wallace Oil Company. They deliver. All right, folks, we got a nail biter here in Shiraw, Colorado, here on the Side Rock Sports Network. 39 37, the visiting Mustangs are up by two. If you're the Mustangs, you do not want to let Shiraw try to get off a three. They've hit six of them tonight at least. Oh, that's right, Marquez, I got to get him in my book. Six three pointers. If you are the Wolverines, you got 37 seconds. You don't want to necessarily have to go for a three, you got a lot of time to wait get to, send it to overtime if you want. You have options. I would encourage those players, don't try to rush anything if it's not 100% there because you leave Kim a chance to score. Reese with it now, into Provost. Tips, Stoker, floater, no good. Who's it off? They're gonna say last touch by the Mustangs. Whoo! We got us a contest here, folks. Marquez to inbounds. They're going to Reese. Guarded nice and tight, Marquez from the corner. They go into Provost. Stoker's put back, no good. The ball's still loose, Stoker puts it up, no good. Provost has it, he is gonna get fouled. And go to the line with a chance to tie. Hoo -hoo -hoo. That's a third foul on Cameron Rosas. Fifth team foul, now if the Mustangs foul again, it's an automatic two shots. Provost again, a chance to tie. First one, hits the front of the rim. See what the senior Tim Provost can do here on this next one. Sorry, he's a junior. Connects, one point ball game, 22 seconds to go really. Brock Doherty with it. Passes it up, Gomez, loose ball. Stoker with a chance to win. Misses it, Brock Doherty, all he has to do is hold it. Holy snot! <laughs> oh my, I'm sorry if I missed some of that action, folks, but we caught the important stuff here. That was a foul. Brock Doherty is now gonna head to the line. The Branson senior with a chance to extend the Mustang lead to three if he can connect. Brock connects on his first, it's two point lead. 
I see the Wolverine coach calling for a timeout, hoping to ice the shooter. Seven seconds to go. It's a full timeout. We're going to keep it right here. We're not going to go to a commercial. This is too much fun, folks. So if you are the Mustangs, obviously you want, you're not having to go for a miss here on the free throw. You want Doherty to try to make that. If he does, it's a three-point lead. And then you have to guard without fouling that three-point uh, three attempt that's definitely going to have to come from Shiraw. If he misses, it's a two-point lead. Still the same story, but now you got to guard against the quick layup for the tie. Again, you'd rather give up the quick layup, not foul, which is very important here, and send it so that it could end up in overtime. Rebound, rebound, rebound. Let's see what coaches put their bigs in to try to pull down that board. Coulter Cranson playing with four fouls. He's the only player with four at this point in the ball game. Reese, the only Shira Wolverine with three, both teams in the automatic bonus. It's gonna be Gomez and Cranson going up against Provost and Reese in the event of a miss. Brock Doherty gets it. No, he does not. Cranson gets a put back. That's gonna be ball game, folks. Three seconds. David Gomez with the block to finish it. The Kim Branson Mustangs coming away with the win. 42 to 38 here on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. What a finish, what a finish. We are gonna have the old Shade Customs post game scoring summary right after this word from Cook Oil Company. Cook Oil is your one-stop shop for everything you need on the farm or range. We provide auto and ag parts and a full line of feed and livestock supplements. And we can handle your bulk fuel and propane delivery needs. Don't forget, Cook Oil is also your only source for Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides east of I-25 and south of I-70. Stop in and see us at 105 West Santa Fe in Walsh or give us a call at 719-324-5273. Thanks and good luck to the athletes competing in today's games. All right, ladies and gents, I just finished doing the math, and it's not 100% accurate. But what a game. It was back and forth. Chirac came out strong, leading pretty much the entire first half in the third quarter. Mustangs came back, established a lead, and never gave it up in the fourth. For your hometown Wolverines, Here's your scoring summary, leading the Wolverines, and actually all scorers on the board, Tim Provost with 13. Braden Stoker followed him up with 10. Seth Reese with eight, and with three apiece, William Ledbetter and BJ Marquez. Now, I may have missed a few in there. The story of Shiraz offense, they got hot. Six three-pointers tonight, that was a nice 18 points. And then Tim Provost really establishing himself down low as a presence, only a junior, holy cow, he is gonna be a handful next year as well. Now let's talk about the Mustangs side of the ball. Leading the Mustangs in scoring is really evenly dis distributed. Coulter Cranson finished with 12, Brock Doherty with 11, Cameron Rosas with 10, David Gomez with three, and Will Doherty with two. So Cameron, Coulter, and Brock each finishing in double digits in scoring. Gonna have to give co-players of the game, the Old Shade Custom co-players of the game, to Brock Doherty, who had several amazing steals and defensive stops at the end of the game, really sealing it. And Coulter Cranson with that huge rebound off the miss. Big game, smart playing with four fouls for most of that fourth quarter. I'm going to give them the co-Old Shade Customs player of the game. Folks, thank you for joining us. Again, we apologize for the technical difficulties during the girls game. Uh, Shira Wolverines came out and, and won that game in decisive fashion, but this was a one for the ages, one we'll remember for a long time. Everyone, have a good rest of your evening, and we will see you at the next broadcast. Yeah, wait till that comes up. Now hit it. Now that it's blue, you can hit it.
Oh, it went red. Oh, no. I hope we got the rest of that. But we're recording it. Oh, good. Uh, Isabel, how are you? Good. Is it all right, me and Lexi ride with you? Oh, 100%, yeah. Lexi's riding with us, too? Yeah. Okay.